Jared Roylance was one of the most charismatic and exciting actors to come out of Hollywood in decades. His meteoric rise was only eclipsed by his tragic fall and valiant comeback and fall again. And his re-comeback and even greater fall into utter despair and tragic babbling. This is his story. Are you still filming? Why? I'm done. I'm finished. I'm finished. Stop filming. Okay, I... I look, I told... Turn it off. Turn it off right now. I said, turn it off. I don't want this in my face. I told you to turn it off. Really, it's just a deep down shy kind of guy. I mean, I know because we think a lot. We think, you know, we're, we're the same brain. I mean, I might look different because of my accident, but, you know, doesn't matter. We still understand each other. So that's good. I think, I think he had, you know, a lot of issues that he was dealing with. Let's talk about shoes. That's what I'm here today to talk about shoes. After going through my rehab, I realized that I needed to give back. I need to give back to society. That's why I take in shoes, stray shoes, lost shoes, shoes that are unwanted, and I give them a home. Shoes are my babies. Shoes are what keep me company. They talk to me, don't you? Yes, you do. Our childhood was uh, pretty, pretty normal, you know, the same normal stuff. But my parents didn't have a lot of money at the time, but you know, it, it didn't matter to us. We were, we were, we were happy kids. You know, my brother and I were twins, right? So we, we could like, we didn't even have to talk. We could finish our. Um, our thoughts, you know, we like thought together. We didn't have to like, you know, even communicate. <laughs> oh, I'm not crazy. I know what's going on. I just choose not to pay attention. People, people who need people. You know, I once saw Barry Manilow in tights. Ooh, not a pretty sight. For me, when I was about eight years old, I, um, well, there was the accident, and, um, ever since then, I have been scarred for life, and, um, I don't look like my brother, and so I think, you know, that's when I realized I was the brains of the duo, and he's the good looks of the duo, and, I mean, together, we're like the perfect, simpatico kind of guy, you know, but doesn't work that way in the real world. My brother was, uh, wanted to be a big star, and, you know, frankly, I think I was more talented than him if it hadn't been for the accident. Do you ever get the wild desire to run around your mansion naked with a helmet on? This is my one true passion. It's so exhilarating. It makes me feel alive, like a bird flapping its big wings across a great blue sky. You should try it sometime. It's very, very, very freeing. Hmm. I will put you, baby, over there. Uh oh! I'm having issues. You go sit down there like a bad boy. You bad boy! You are being very bad today. So, what were we talking about? He was on Broadway in the revival. Well, the Broadway musical version of Family Ties where he played Alex P. Keaton, the role, you know, Michael J. Fox did on TV. Well, it was a huge success on Broadway, and I think he always loved the stage. I think that's where deep down he was most artistically fulfilled, you know, that's where he was happy the most. But, you know, when he went to Hollywood, Hollywood, uh, they, um, I think, they kind of ate him up and spit him out. I was like in most of his big movies. I was just uh, like a stunt double because I wasn't afraid of getting hit in the face. You know, it didn't matter, but he didn't want to get hit in the face. Oh, oh, shoes, shoes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I 
think he got a little too full of himself. You know, everyone telling him how handsome he was and what a great actor he was and how famous he was, which, you know, I, he did some good work and stuff, but I think he was empty inside. I mean, I remember when he auditioned for Star Wars, the TV show, and I think he was high on crack when he did that. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,